I played basketball most of my life, but 3x3 helped me fall in love with basketball again. Because of that, I'm extraordinarily uh, grateful for the sport and the people involved in it. So um, from the bottom of my heart, this has been a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I'm fortunate to have had it. To the last 3x3 tournament, this season, Steve Smith from Canada! I still felt like I could be a contributor as a player, and that's what tied to uh, this opportunity with uh, Team Ulan Batar and working with the Mongolian 3x3 Basketball Association. Steve Sir is after retiring, came out of retirement, moved to Mongolia. Him and his family made a huge commitment to this team and their goals going forward. We got to know each other gradually over the last few years. Our first time competing with each other was in 2018. We went to the Ulan Bator Challenger, and then we traveled down to the World Cup in the Philippines and uh, played each other again in the opening game in pool play. And they jumped on us quick and kind of had us down. And then uh, I hit a few shots and we rallied back and we won. But through competition, we were able to develop a little bit of a kinship. So as I got to know them more and they kind of slowly assimilated me in, uh, they brought me out to work with their teams in October of 2021. I was there for a month with them and uh, it seemed to go really well and then that would kind of put us at that point where it's like, okay, I think, you know, are we going to take this a step further? We'd like you to play. We'd like you to be more involved with, with the skill development and some, some coaching aspect of it as well. And that was something that I thought was a really fun challenge, a, a way to work full time and still compete in the sport. I'm 39. and. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be playing as this long, but uh, yeah, I'm awfully fortunate to be able to. And uh, I'm uh, very fortunate that I work with a group as focused and as, as meticulous as, as the Mongolian 3x3 family. Well, you know, you're joining up with a group that aren't rookies to 3x3. They've been in the sport, they, they have a lot of skin in the game, a lot of experience and uh, we have a lot of experience with each other. So I think there was a, a mutual respect already established through competing against one another. What I admire and, uh, and what I like about Mongolia is, you know, they sent their women's team to the Tokyo Olympics and their men were close. And the great thing is, is they're not satisfied by that. They're not complacent. They want to take this a step further. And uh, through what we've talked about, they think that I could be a guy that helped continue to move the chains forward. So my role is going to be to lend the experience that I have, but also to work on the, the side of, you know, how can I help players improve. I'm a part of a staff, you know, they have uh, Coach Tolga, who's obviously very passionate about Mongolian basketball. And I would never say that I'm, a, I'm an army of one doing this. I'm, I'm a part of a team. Uh, this is not the Steve Sir show. This is Team Mulan Batar and it's uh, Team Mongolia and I'm uh, very fortunate to be a part of it. Everybody likes the you know the records that I hold and the shots that I hit during the games but I think what I can bring to a place like Mongolia and to their teams is showing them what that looks like when there isn't cameras on or where there isn't social media posts and how it has to be a daily thing and how it has to be planned and how it has to be purposeful. You shoot the ball better because you get your ass in the gym and you shoot shots, and you shoot a lot of them, and you shoot shots that you're gonna see in the game, and you're gonna shoot shots with pressure, and you're gonna make sure that mentally you're putting yourself in a place that uh, you would be in the game, which is awfully hard to simulate in 3x3 because the pace, the speed, the fatigue are things that are awfully hard to simulate when you're training. And I think already in our first month, we're seeing some guys shoot the ball a little bit uh, more consistently, and that's the key with shooting. You can feel basketball is just ready to explode there. And the great thing about it is, is you have a, an organized, motivated group with the will to continue to push this higher and push this forward. The will is there, but then there's also the support from the general public of people who are excited about the sport, people who are gonna come and cheer you on when you play, people who are gonna follow when you're playing outside of your borders. And I think Mongolia is really on the verge of something special here because as you could see with our events, lots of people in the stands really into it, really excited. I think Mongolia is starting to see what's possible for basketball in their country. And the young players are, you know, taking what some of their older players have done. For the young players, they're seeing, you know, if I commit to this and I give my best effort and I make a commitment to try and improve, it could open doors that they don't even know are there. So, you know, time will tell, but I think they're sitting in a great spot and they're positioned to do some really, really terrific things.